Is it, is it, have I got a link yet? I've got a link. All right, let's copy the link. And let's just put it into the social media. Let's blur. Burp. Going live now. So, are we ready to go? Is that ready to go? Ah, there's the music. We are ready to go. Force that enthusiasm. Are you as excited as I am for next? On the in false enthusiasm, not false constipation. So we'll go um, campaigns, history of the Roman Empire, Corallus Capua. Let's go with Capua. The prosperous city of Capua stands in the southeast of the Italian peninsula, with a direct connection to the capital through the Via Appia. This road is of enormous strategic and economic importance, and proves that Rome does not simply conquer, it brings prosperity. The surrounding barbarian villages, far from being a menace, present an excellent opportunity for establishing commerce through new trade routes. This could very well be the key to achieving a grandeur to rival that of Rome itself. Spoiler alert, it didn't, but it did like be of mutual benefit to both Capua and Rome. So here's our here's our Via Appia as direct as depicted in the game. Oh look at that! A double width road, isn't that nice? So I'm not even gonna pick a tablet. First of all, I know that we're gonna need timber. That's always a resource that need and clay. So we got what we got. So we got ourselves um, a, a well over there. So if I build a clay pit, what can I build it here? Any place near an aqueduct or water basin? Oh, not allowed to pick it from uh, that. Okay. Aqueduct or water basin. So the first of all, let's just go with a, a stone woodsman's hut, and then we shall have two houses. I'm not sure why the why does it snap that way? Why why can't you be um, better behaved with how you snap to things? So next up, um, we can have olives. We can't grow can't grow flax. So can't make linen. Probably gonna have to trade for it. So in that case, let's see. We can have a wheat farm. All right, we'll have a wheat farm there. And oh look, there's a water basin. So I could have my clay pit here, or I could have a branch coming off of the Via Appia. And so let's do that then. And let's have a clay pit close by another two houses one there one there and then well these ladies will have to do some sort of work so uh, who wants to work in the pig farm you don't well who wants to be at oh. all no demolish let's try and keep our, our road of established And you know what? Let's have a well there and all, because everyone likes having a well nearby. Not sure why. Maybe they just like having a drink now and then. Oh, I'm just going to, you know, dip my hand into the well. So let's have a pig farm. If I have it there, it's definitely not going to fear the road, is it? Put it like so, and then do that. There. Now, let's pick a tablet. The next ten houses you build will cost you no denarii. They still cost building material. Houses are restricted to casa in this scenario. You won't be able to build flax farms. Rome will supply you with building materials every ten minutes. All right, so in other words, um, don't really need building materials, but I always think it's a good idea to have some. I'm just coping there. Um, 
I really should be doing these, uh, picking these tablets so I got an idea of what to build and when. But let's just see. Um, so we're going to have a farm there. I'm going to have a farm there. And if I have two more houses, let's say put one there and one there, and then let's have a bakery. Like so. It'd be nice if you could have, um, well actually there is a building which provides like one job for space. Because I'm thinking to myself, well look here, I've got two men working there, two women work here, one job's free, so if I build two houses, one woman will work there, one woman will be unemployed, and the two men from these houses will work in the bakery. So I'll have one unemployed woman who is allowed to be a trader. So I've got two men working there, two women working there, and one man. And let's have a look at the job situation. One unemployed woman, one free job. Well, the free job in the wheat farm. Let's have a look at this unemployed woman. She lives there. So, let us have a butcher's. Butcher's shop on the main road. I'm sure uh, oh, it'll be lovely, you know. Just stop in... Uh, Capua and get some sausages. Two houses there. There we go. Uh, let's have a look at the tablet. Build three wheat farms. Ancient Capua owed much of its prosperity to the growing and trade of a species of wheat called spelt. It was used as an ingredient in different foods, wine, spices, and even medicines. I do like spelt flour. I've uh, I've had it before and. Um, yeah, it's, it's good stuff. I can recommend it. So where are we going to build our wheat farms? Well, we'll build one here. Yeah. And then... Well, if I just build one right next to it, will that, will that work? And then let's go have a house here and a house there as well. Might as well be adjacent and adjusting. Let's just have a little uh, an alleyway there. Right, see what happens. Pick another tablet. Pretor, your merchants have found a new trade route. Rome will now buy flour from us at 12 denarii. Very nice. To establish a trade route, build a trade post and click on the Establish Trade Route icon in its info panel. Once the route is established, it will constantly buy or sell the traded resource. Build three wheat farms. Ancient Capua owed much of its prosperity. If you upgrade your forum to level two, the needs of all citizens will be satisfied. Ironically enough, by upgrading to level two, which I you must, you must have at least ten Magalias in order to upgrade. So let's get those houses up and running, shall we? First of all, let's get the current constructions done, and uh, then we shall see what needs building where. So we got ourselves some flour. Flour is in the bakery. Bakery's got access to water from the well. Not produce... well, I suppose it takes a while to get the harvest of spelt flour in. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's wait for that then. I decided if I'm if I'm going to do this because I quite enjoy doing this. I certainly enjoy the sound of my own voice, um, despite not being the best voice in the world. Mm. Hey, there's my, there's my wheat farms. All right, so Build that's three wheat. Farms. If you upgrade your forum, so in order to upgrade the forum, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So once that house is built, we will have the ten Magalias. We got one unemployed woman, one free job. So let's just upgrade. And we are going to be agrarian in this. So let's go with Saturn, God of Agriculture. Half construction costs, rocks construction costs, and all food producing buildings. Improved efficiency of all food producing buildings if I do offerings at the things. So that's, if the, you upgrade that's your done. Food, the next 10 houses you build will cost you no. You must earn 1,500 denarii. 
the new trade room. Right, room. okay. So let's uh, slow that down and let's see. Got one unemployed woman and she lives there. Right, so if I have a trade um, tavern and marketplace, no, I won't bother with those just yet. Let's go with trade first of all. Pier, trade post, there's a trade post. So I'll put it there. And then we'll do that, like so. And then, oh, that doesn't quite match up. Right, so now let's go to this bit and delete some road. There. That'll do. You notice a splendid residence which was recently constructed in the city. Congratulations. Oh, you're not going to rate out the rest of it. Well, never mind. Suffice to say, you got your first uh, casa house. So, uh, got any aesthetic stuff here? No, no. Oh, there it is, aesthetic. So, can I have a small garden? Yep, yeah, can have a small garden just there next to the bakery. Pretor, your treasury is running low. You can sell excess resources in a trade post or a pier. You can gain denarii from some buildings, such as altars, temples, and baths. You can also tax your citizens after each upgrade of the forum. Well, I didn't know altars, temples, and baths generated money. I suppose those must be votive offerings. Huh. Look at that. If I go here, I mean, that juts out on the road, but oh, there you have it. Oh, the daily grind, eh? It was only later people figured out that, hey, you could do use harness the power of water to turn a wheel, which will do that for you. But anyway, let's, uh, let's have a look at this. We need some timber. So let's get some timber then, shall we? Come on, lads. What are you doing? Well, you're, you're dropping a your load off. There goes uh, another slave. The clothing's optional if you're a slave. So they're all waiting here, yet they go in that path there to offload their goods. Would it not be better just to queue up there then? Uh, Well, let's face it, these slaves aren't known for uh, being able to smart. He managed to figure out how to get into it, but anyway, so that's done. Now, we will do a trade route with Rome to sell flour for 12 denarii. Oh, look at that, you know, don't get much for selling meat, linen, or stone. So, flour is the most profitable thing we can sell. Great. So now, these slaves are going to go out with bags of flour. I imagine one of them is going to get dropped off in the bakery. But they are just slowly walking the way. I could speed it up. Oh, go on then. Let's speed it up. And, yeah, there is. Dropping off bags of flour for sale. Which will be loaded up onto an ass. When did, when, when did asses get renamed as a donkey? But... And Flavidia Tullio is working in there. So now we have zero unemployed men and women, one free job in the butcher shop. So if I have um, a house, what if I have a house there? Yep, that'll be in range of it. So I'll do one there. And do that, do that. So now I have one unemployed woman, which will work in the trade post, which I'm going to put right Mm, I'm going to put it there so the aqueduct can move about. In fact, one we even said, wouldn't it have not been sensible to uh, demolish all of that so that your aqueduct can move? We'll see. We shall see indeed. Right, 
there's our second training post. Now, it's quite far away from the forum, so the slaves have got a long distance to walk. So what I'm going to do is, if I go to a warehouse, and if I put the warehouse in... Where's a good place for a warehouse? If I was going to put a situate a warehouse, I think there's an alright place for it. Yeah. Bit wonky, but oh well. Never mind. As long as it does. I'm going to put an altar there so that these people. Because, look, those, those altars only goes that far. Doesn't really satisfy the needs of uh, everyone. Oh yeah, and that house could do with an altar and all. So let's let's get another altar, shall we? Um, altars. It's greyed out because I don't have enough denarii to do it. Um, new finances. You must earn one thousand five. The wheat farms have yielded a rich harvest. For the duration of this tablet, your farmers will produce more flour. Oh, that's very good. So let us uh, build. If I do that, that's three jobs, yeah. And then if I do that, can I, oh, I want to put another one somewhere. Let's put one there. So now I've got six jobs. Although they're not really close together, which is a nuisance. So can I do that there, like so, yeah. All right, so let's see. That won't, well, that won't even allow me to... Do that and delete that one. There we go. So, what if I put in one there, two, three? There we go. There's six workers, and there's um, there's my the three next houses. 10, the, farm, the nearby barbarian village offers an excellent deal on linen. Barbarians sell linen for two denarii. Great. The wheat farms have yielded a rich. Well, they can blame You notice a crowd near the forum. Oh, yeah, not enough slaves. So, this warehouse is now. Well, it's, I can't say it's top priority because they're already working on it. Well, I can't build a slave shelter because that costs denarii. Yeah, this this is a great game, and you can get it for, I think I paid like £8 for the Rome total pack, but this game by itself I think is £2.50, and I thoroughly recommend it. I mean, I loved playing this game. What did I, no, cancel. Uh, but yeah, I really like this game, so let's just speed things along because these slaves are all uh, being lazy. But anyway, we should have another 20 slaves from there. So, that will hopefully help out the slaves over here. And the reason I built this warehouse is it means this trade post, which is selling flour, they've, the slaves only got to go there to there, and they also got to go to the wheat fields occasionally to pick up some flour. But we see here the slaves are still struggling. So, do we have 400 denarii? We do. Let's build a slave shelter. Put one there. You meet a strange person hiding naked in a wooden barrel. He explains that he is forced to hide in the barrel because of the shortage of cloth in the city. <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, this is an issue which needs to be addressed uh, post-haste, post-hastum. So we've got one unemployed woman, she lives there. Right, so we're gonna have another trading post. Um, is a trading post, right, put one there. Yeah, and we're going to have another two houses. Yeah, I'm going to have well, one there, and don't have enough denarii, so I won't build that one just yet. Oh, look, if I put the roads there, suddenly it goes, no, I'm going to build like that, because, I don't know. Well, anyway, so there's our houses, and... Um, we'll build a tailor shop as well, which I can't afford because that costs denarii. There are too few slaves to carry the resources needed into your city. In order to ease the slaves' schedule, you can...
Well, what if I had like an army and then went into these barbarians and say, good news, there's an opportunity to work on our brand new Amazon warehouse where all your food, your lodging and will be taken care of. You didn't say anything about wages. Oh, you thought this was voluntary. No, it's not. Join us or you get the alternative. What's the alternative? Well, the great benefits which come working in the Amazon warehouse. You get to live. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, um, let's speed things along. There we go. So now, we shall buy lin, li, lin, linen for two denarii each. That's great. So I'm making a... I'm making 24 denarii per each uh, the two flowers sold here. Hang on, 24 denarii and then minus two, so I'm making 22 profit for each trade. So now all that's done, the denarii is coming in, but we've got to speed things up before we can afford to do cloth. It's got 190. It ain't much, but it's something. 290. And occasionally people will do votive offerings in these. Well, that's the end of our rich harvest. You must earn 1,500 Ah, there's there's some denarii just coming. Right, so we'll do the tailor shop. Or just pop it over, what, there? Yeah, there it is. And uh, let's have a look f at how many... Got four unemployed women. And you live in Casa Faustinia. Well, there's going to be a chance for you to earn a living soon, woman. When this tailor shop opens up, so we got we got any uh, yeah we got some linen there. It's thirty linen, right? I think we shall have two tailor shops in that case. So let's have a second tailor shop and then do it there. Oh, I like the idea of that. Yeah, we'll do it like that. You notice a building in very poor condition. The residents explain that they have not received their upkeep resources and they fear that the building may even catch fire because of... Right, these require stone for upkeep. Can I have, um, can I mine stone? Is there stone available? What have we got? I see over there, there's, what is that? Is that, is that stone? That's a stone quarry, yes it is. Right. We're going to want some blokes to be in range of it, so we'll put one there and one there. That's that's two men which can work there. And then we'll do another via, or road to us not of uh, the Latin persuasion. So we'll put it in there. Right. So now we should get stone come in when the mines getting worked and rather than having close to the work site I want them close to here where all the amenities are so now yeah there we go we got Hadrianus Tacitus and Caesar Diodatus working in there Romans used to have three names hey well done Skuggy that's that's good to hear I'm you know posting from the toilet watching someone building Rome you may notice that there are no um, latrines Ah, uh, what's going on? The town officials rush you to their homes under a hail of stones thrown by the rioting mob. The plebs are angry, for you have not fulfilled their needs. If you have any prefects, they will try to fight the riot. Right, let's figure out, why are they rebellious? It's been ages since cloth was abundant. Well, you know what? Maybe you should beat up the women working in the tailor shop. Maybe that'll make them work faster. Look, there's cloth there. There's cloth there. What more do you want? What, like a marketplace to sell the cloth? Honestly. Three unemployed women living there. So I think this is where we're going to have our, our very first marketplace. Right there. So I'll put a marketplace there. And um, let, let's see if that will calm people down once they've got a place they can buy all this cloth. Because, honestly, why can't you just... I mean... It says it's a tailor shop, and I don't know about you, but I go to shops to buy things. So, you know, why not go? 
Oh, it's been ages since cloth was abundant. Well, look, th there's cloth. What do you want? I mean, why can't you? The weather's nice. Why can't you just enjoy a bit of nudism? I mean, that's what the gods in Olympus are. You don't see them walking around in cloth all the time. Anyway, let's have a look at this marketplace. Is it built yet? No, it's not. So, there it is. We've got two women working in there. No, how are we doing for jobs? So one unemployed woman, and she lives there. All right. I think that means we can have a uh, school, altar, tavern. Let's do, let's do a tavern. Let's put one there. And then we'll need to do one more house. So I'll do that. And I'll do one more house over here. And that way there will be enough workers there as well. So you must earn 1,000. Right. Let's see what comes next. If you upgrade your forum to level 3, a new trade route will become available, over which you will be able to sell olives at 15 denarii. Oh dear. You hear a desperate shout from far away. How did Fire. that happen? A what? cloud of thick Support. black smoke already gathers okay. in the sky. It's time to have some prefects. All prefects in the area will rally in an effort to extinguish the burning yep. building it is before time to it have is lost. Prefects in our cities. One, two, three, four. They got a marketplace, they got some altars. Let's upgrade. There we go. Um, so now we should hopefully have some unemployed women. So let's build an olive farm there. And another olive farm there. And we lost our bloody road because I don't know why. So this is one of the things I'd say with um, this game is that... Um, for whatever reason, road placement is a bit fucky, but, you know, it was the ancient times, people didn't worry so much about roads, except, actually, no, that's not true. The Romans really did worry about roads, and they made roads which survived to this very day. So, uh, chop top to it. So we've got one free job, and that's in the marketplace. Oh yeah, well, they're building a bunch of houses there, so that should get fixed up soon enough. So we've got a bunch of slaves, and... This resource depot is empty and will not be resupplied. Right, get rid of that. And hopefully get some resources. Um, do I need another prefecture? Well, let's have just one and see how far we get with that. This building is on fire. We've got 77 seconds left. So how's that prefecture coming along? It's got everything it needs except timber. If you upgrade. I'm not going to do anything right now until all of this gets done. So we got cloth, we got fish, baskets, we got bread. And now we got we got some prefects, very good. <laughs> hey, we need a voice actor. So I don't know any Latin. That's all right. Just mump it incoherently. Yep. 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 One of them sounded like he was muttering Germanically. Your well sounds like Javon. But anyway, so we got some prefects, yeah. And sorry, mate, that's out of my jurisdiction. Not going to deal with it. Lazy. Right, let's put another prefecture over, what, here? Can I put a prefecture there? Where would be a good place for this prefecture? I'll just squeeze it in over, th what do you mean I can't squeeze it in over there? Anyway, there's a prefecture. Illegal spot blocks access to other buildings, all right. So, I bet there's going to be people rioting, it's like, oh, I haven't got any job to go to. Well, you burn down your own wheat farm. So, two people, two men, I should say. It's not people that work prefects. Men that are prefects. Because this game respects traditional job occupations and traditional gender roles. 
Oh uh, yeah, it was a heady racist time, 2006. <laughs> Where men were men and women were women. And never the twain shall mix. So, we'll have four unemployed women and we'll deal with them in time. But in the meantime, let's have a look. There's 73 spare linen there, so yeah, I think we can afford another tailor shop. What's that flashing mean? A special dispensation from the Senate allows you the privilege of building an arch of triumph in your city. This indeed is a great honor. The Senate sends six marble for the construction. Great, let's put a triumphal arch somewhere. Um, increase the soldiers' morale and grants prestige to nearby houses. So if I put one there, that'll increase the prestige of the houses over here. And if I do an altar as well, like um, just there, that should make things a bit better. Right, so, let's try and... Uh, sorry. Romans had it right with the communal pooing. Well, yeah, and the communal baths as well. Uh, but the other thing is as well is, is uh, plumbing was a bit more... A bit, bit more tricky back then. So it made sense to... Um, make things communal. We're on this idea that, oh, wouldn't it be nice to have a toilet in everybody's house? Mind you, there were still some communal trough loos even in the 20th century because uh, Billy Connolly used to talk about his time when um, he was, um, what do you call it? He was, uh, he was working in the shipyards, that's it. And they had trough toilets there, and he said, you know, if someone had a curry the night before, it'd just be like a Mexican way of people standing up as their ring pieces got stung. Uh. So there's our next prefecture. Uh, let's speed things along. Let's just get all the construction done before I take up another card. And one more house. There it is. So we've got a full prefecture, and let's have a look. We've got five unemployed women, and you live in Casa Claudia. Right, so, would you like a tailor shop to work at? Oh no, I don't want to be a seamstress. Well, do you want a job or not? Alright then. So, um, if I put one there, that will mean two women have a job. Right, and um, we got olive farms up here, yep, yeah, we got two, f so if I build, uh, can I build a house there? Let's build a house right there, and then the man and the woman can work in the olive fields. Let's pick a tablet. Pretor, you must earn 5,000 denarii. You can draw additional tablets if you find a task too hard at the moment, or if it requires a long period of time to complete. Well, let's just do it one at a time at the moment. So we got three free jobs. So there's one, and then there's a free job there in the marketplace. Right, let's have. Uh, can I squeeze in another house somewhere? There we go, can squeeze a house in there. Hey, Jonah remembers playing this game. Yeah, I'm not sure. I picked this up on the CD somewhere. I might have even actually gone to a physical shop and used cash to buy it. Because I just thought, hey, it's a city builder in Rome. I like Rome. I played Rome Total War and I, I like Sim City, so I thought I'd give it a go. And uh, I'm really glad I did. And then I just, on the whim the other day, I just thought to myself, what was the name of that Roman city builder I built? Wasn't it by Hemont Games? And that was it. I was playing Surviving Mars, which is also made by Hemont Entertainment. And I thought, hey, this is a fun city builder. And it's like, yeah, they also made Tropico 3 and 4. And um, so I always used to think it was Calypso. Uh, and they made Imperium Romanum. And can I, I am really glad I'm playing this game again. It just looks pretty. You know, look, look at that. Who wouldn't want to live in Capua? Yes, hello, Jonal. Nice to see you again. So 
not bothering with any construction material, well I say not bothering with any construction materials, I still built a woodcutter's hut because I'm just filling my, uh, well it's not a LARP because I'm not live action going out into the woods and chopping my own wood, but wouldn't it be nice, you know, just, yeah I'm a woodsman, you know, chop down trees and saw it for firewood and people do stuff with timber. Pretor, you must earn 5,000... Yep, got to earn that 5,000 denarii. So let's see, we've got our uh, olive farm, we've got worker, all women workers in there. Now, why haven't you upgraded yet? I mean, is it because you're too far from a well? I think that's possibly the reason. Right, how do I get a well? I, I, I build an aqueduct, but unfortunately, can't build it there as the wheat field and... So if I if I demolish these buildings, which are gonna result in some disgruntled plebeians, but there will always be disgruntled plebeians, such as their lot in life. Ha 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 ha. So anyway, we'll uh, fast forward it because it takes a while to demolish. It's not just instant poof and it's gone. Um poof. <laughs> right. So those are now gone, and I can now build an aqueduct that far, and I can build another one that far there, right, so there we go, there's our aqueduct, and so now, can I squeeze a wheat farm in, not there, but I can build one there, and then let's rebuild that house, build it there, there we go. And let's build a road there, and there, and there, there we go. And then if I build another house here and put in a tailor shop, will that... I don't think I can build a tailor shop. No, I can't build it there. Um, I'm going to take you to the tailor shop. Oh, uh, no. I just realised what I did then. That is what I believe we call a, a faux pas. Yeah, so do that. Put it in there. I don't think you can link um, uh, channel, uh, put URLs on on the YouTube chat, Skuggy. They they did it to prevent spam or something, or uh, more likely to just stop uh, people sharing information with one another. Um, but Jonal is on is on Twitter, uh, Jonal Legrand. So uh, yeah, you can just. Ah, oh, sorry, I've stopped. Um, yeah, oh, okay. No, I just got a message from a friend. He says, oh, I asked him with help or something. And he says, well, that seems out of the blue. So he uh, he's worried about something. I'll have to put his mind at ease after the game is over. So there we go. There's the aqueduct built up. So let's have a well there, like so. And then that should help with... Well, actually, it seems all these builders are satisfied. But hey, you know, you can never have too many wells in a, in a village. Because at the moment, this is a village. Right, so there we go. Oh, look, we got a new castle. So let's have a look at um, five unemployed women. Lazy women not doing jobs. Boo! Beat them hard. Well, another tailor shop then. Yes, Capua, known for its cloth. No, it's supposed to be known for its wheat. Yeah, we're making cloth. So we'll do do a bit of that. And let's have a look. What else have we got? More unemployed women. Got one there. Can't really squeeze a wheat farm in here because of the uh, geography. So, um, don't know. Anyway, look. There's some free jobs there. Why don't you go work there, lazy women? Free, free jobs. Are oh, the tailor shops? Yeah. One unemployed man. You live there. Okay. Hmm. Olives. 
Who wants some olives? Alright, olives it shall be. Put an olive field down there. And can I squeeze in a garden? Let's see if I can squeeze a garden in. Can I do it there? No, I can't. Um, let's have a look for another garden. There's a garden. Oh, that's a nice looking garden. I like that one. Can I do a little garden here, perhaps? Squeeze one in there, there. Nope. No room for gardens over here, my friend. What about here? Nope, no gardens there. Oh, look. Put a garden there. There we go. Can you get some louder donkeys, please? Ah, uh, yes, I have plenty of tips for growing garlic. One of them is you need some good draining soil so that the roots can get in there nice and, nice and easy. Um, they like a lot of nutrients, so you use a manure of your sort. Although, if you're going to use your own manure, Skuggy, at least give it a few months to rot down and decompose, because the bacteria in it, um, you don't want to be eating that. Um, trust me. And uh, it needs sunlight, so if it doesn't have sun, it will not grow. It needs water, not so much so that the roots um, uh, get rotten, so that's why you have well-draining soil. And um, it needs a reason to live, so don't read it Julius Evolver's book. <laughs> um, I mean, the thing is, you can see garlic wants to grow. You just, when it gets a bit um, old, you start seeing a shoot come out of it. And yeah, just plant it. Grow. The other thing is, it, it needs warmth. So if you don't have it in a windowsill, then wait for the spring to plant it. Um, Vitor, there are too few people who wish to join your city. You can address this issue by building a school. Grown children who have attended school will join your pool of settlers. Oh, okay, right, so let's have a look. We've got one unemployed man who lives in Casa Claudia. So let's have a school in range of uh, Casa Claudia. Trade post, pier. So it's not in there. It's not in food production. We're, no, it won't be there. Public. Temple, tavern, marketplace, school. There is a school. And if I put it there, that will start to mess up the roads. I don't, I don't really want to mess up the roads. So I'll put it there. What's the bang bang? You for? receive a report stating that the crisis has been resolved and the citizens are pleased. Wow, that's good. Right, so let's go to aesthetics and let's see. What about a big garden here? I'll do that. There we go. That will deal with some of the burnt patched bits. Oh, I see. You think you can just merrily walk in between the gaps in the fields? Well, then I'll just build a road for you so that, you know, your walking's a bit more comfy. Yes, the tips for growing pineapples is don't live in the United Kingdom. Have a pineapple, plant it in the soil, give it water and sunshine and wait. Do I have tips for rearing slaves? Well, you need a name like Kaikenblatt or Hebowitz. And you need to own the slave ships and have financing from the slave financiers in order to do it. Um, so yeah, that, that's... As for rearing slaves, you don't need to rear slaves. It's best to get free-range uh, slaves from, like, Libya or uh, the Ivory Coast. And um, they'll just be... The, the local populace will, you know, sustainably source slaves. They'll just, you know, bring them for you and then you can just get them yourself. So you don't actually need to rear them. Do I have any tips for growing a GF? Well, you need a uh, a mummy GF and, and a daddy GF, and if they love one another enough, then they will have uh, a 50-50 chance of growing a, a son or a boy. Apparently, if the couple have lots of sex, they're more likely to have uh, daughters than sons. I don't know why that is. Um, and then, hopefully, it will be a GF material. So yeah, um, I, I will occasionally look at the chat to help with, you know, any rearing advice, be it plant or livestock or people. And 
Like, if this is well developed, there'll be more sausages. Yeah, well, you know, if this is well developed neighbourhood, you would be working in the job. So you live there and you say there's no jobs. So if I build a pig farm, I can't build a pig farm there. Can't build. Oh, I can build one over there, but it has to be in range of. The train in the building is too steep. Don't know. Let's just give them a herbalist shop and maybe that will shut them up. Put it there. There we go. Do I have any tips for growing a GF that will like me? Mm, unfortunately, no, I don't. Although you could do that thing in Rimmerworld where you use a cloning kit and you use your own genetic material to grow a GF um, as a clone of yourself. So you, you could do that. Um, let's have a look. We've got two unemployed women, four free jobs. So there's, an, there's a free job going there. Can I do a pig farm here? I can. Can I do a pig farm like so? I can. Let's do it like that, as I think that would be a more economical use of the available space. And then let's just do a house there. I won't do another house there just yet. This resource depot's empty will not be resupplied. Right, de demolish that. Hobbit, do you have any tips for growing a GF that will like me in the way that isn't a genetic ab abomination that spits in the face of God and natural law? Yeah, so what you need is a functional society, so um, you'll, you'll need to, to return to tradition and have a, a, a proto-fascist empire. Uh, which enforces traditional gender roles. You need to get rid of the modern media and television system because uh, women are impressionable and if they see twerking asses on telly they'll think that's what men want in a woman. And you'll need a society of women teaching their daughters how not to be sluts. And from then, you just, you'll also need a world in which the value of man's labour is doubled so you make it illegal for women to work. I mean, you can have women working in tailor shops, stuff like that. Who, who, honestly, do you, do you know any male seamstresses or hairdressers? Unfortunately, I do know male hairdressers. But you, you, have, you have traditionally assigned gender roles, you know, certain jobs that men do, certain jobs that women do. And then they'll understand that men and women complement one another and they should not be working against one another. So you get rid of the welfare state as well, where basically husband is the government and not the husband. So in that way, women realise that they're reliant upon a husband in order to provide for them. And it tends to make them love them a bit more because women love men which can provide for them. And when the state is providing for the women, then the men are seen as contemptible because the abstract of, well, that man's labour is then taxed, which is then given to you, is lost on them. Because they don't directly see it as like, well, the man's not coming into the cave bringing me like a gazelle to eat, therefore it's not the man that's doing it for me. So, how to delay, uh, minimise delay when I'm streaming? So, in the YouTube options, you have options for like latency. You can go with ultra low, low, or uh, you know, uh, responses by post. And I usually use the default option, which is slow. So, what you're seeing is actually six seconds in the past. How's about that? Um, and. I like to think that maybe that provides a buffer, so if ever there's a buffer underrun, then it will be okay because there's a buffer. I don't know. Um, but there will always be a delay between what... No, in theory, you could have it do real-time streaming. I think that's an option, but they say, like, you have to have um, two things. You have to have a good, decent internet connection so that there's always uh, the stream going there. And then it depends on what you're streaming. If you're streaming a game, which especially one which is like graphically intensive in terms of 3D, um, no one works at this building. Right, so we'll build an, another house and uh, see what happens there. So if you're doing a 3D graphic, a graphics game uh, which is intensive, then your graphics card, which if you look in OBS does... Um, well, if you've got NVIDIA, you'll have the NVIDIA uh, hardware encoding. 
So your video card will also be doing the video stream encoding as well as playing the game. Which is alright in games like this, or Fallout New Vegas. But if you're playing something like Project Cars 2 on a NVIDIA 970 GTX, then it's probably advisable that you pre-record it and upload it so that the quality's not compromised. I am just um, curious. I'm going to alt-tab out the game, respond to my good friend so that he doesn't worry about me. And um, it's not a right now situation, but in a few few years time I will have to be seriously thinking about this alas um, right now that's him dealt with I'm just going to bring up my task manager I'm looking at performance and if I go down to this is why I prefer Windows 10 to Windows 7 now actually like I said you can get the Windows 10 task manager for Windows 7 as a separate program so let's just have a look so my 3D apparently is taking up 99% of my GPU time and video encoding is taking up 14% of it. I'm not, I'm not sure how it can do 112% but there you go. Um, and dedicated GPU memory usage is 1 gigabyte. Oh yeah, let's go back to uh, our things here. Let's have a look at the job situation. 5 free jobs zero unemployed so they've got a free job there in the herbalist shop so if I had uh, another house there and have a man teaching and the woman working in the shop so where's uh, that's under public isn't it school can I have a school here nope can't have a school there but I can have a school no nope, can't have a school there I'll be able to fit in a trading post probably. So let's go. Um, is it support? Yeah. No, that's a herbalist shop. Support, trade post. There we go. Sack of coins represents the trading post. Let's have a look at that icon again. That looks like a sack of coins with a scroll of papyrus behind it. Yeah, that's probably a good uh, symbol for a shop, a trading post. So there's our house. There's two uh, unemployed people at the moment. No, that's not true. Four free jobs. Okay, can we squeeze in another house here? Yes, we can squeeze in a house there. Look at that. There's a well and a well. I don't need two wells, so let's just demolish that well. How are we doing for stone? We're all right for stone, so yeah, that's good. Everyone's getting stoned. Stoned them with stoned. Why are you disillusioned, woman? This world of them, there'll be more sausage. Oh, yeah, they keep whinging about that. Well, there's zero meat there. And what about our butcher? There's another one. That's not a butcher. That's not a butcher. That's not a butcher. Do I actually have a butcher's? Yeah, look, there's a butcher. Ten meat, four sausages. Well, I could probably do with another butcher shop, can't we? So, um, but first of all, let's try and occupy all these free jobs. Ah, oh, that's right. We was going to build a house. We're still waiting on that to demolish. Speed it up a bit. Two, one. There we go. It's demolished. So now, house. There we go, I can build a house there. Let's have a look at the temple. Free rebellious. Everyone wants more sausages. Okay, I think I'm going to have to build another butcher's. And Even though it's uh, my carnal rule is, well, get everything built and get everyone employed before you start building up new job vacancies. That's right, so do a, a via there. And then we'll need another house. One there, one there. So there's two butchers that can work in, in... Well, there's two men that can work in the butcher shop. And then we'll have some unemployed women. So I need to sort that out. So let's have a look again. We'll just have a look. We've got two free jobs, one unemployed man. Thanks to your care, I like for nothing. Well, at least he's happy. So you live in, in that one. Oh, yeah, the trading shop. 
we will start to sell um, olives. So that man should hopefully have a job there. What's this saying? You met a plebeian on the steps of the forum. He was complaining that because of lack of resources, his shop stays empty. Yeah. A darker building grabs your attention. Right, so really you're just waiting for slaves to come from here and to go there, or to come from the warehouse and go there. So, oh, that situation's getting resolved now. Here comes... No, there, there's our trader. He's still waiting on on the uh, on the shipment of olive olive oil to get delivered. Um, well, there's plenty of stuff going in the forum. How am I doing on olive oil production anyway? Olive farm, thirty nine olive oil. Right, so. What have we got? Well, we've got plenty of olive oil there. Is it? Is it the slaves? Is it? No, it's a free slave schedule. Relaxed. Ah, so let's upgrade the forum. There we go. A hundred denarii for each household. That'll be good. And what about here? We've got a relaxed slave schedule. Well, if it's a relaxed slave schedule, then um, slaves. Is that forum? I don't know. I don't know if... I think I'm going to have to build another warehouse so that there's slaves in range and it can uh, deal with the goods. So, put one there. Do that. And then, yeah, diagonal road. That'll do. So, we've got in the butcher shop, but there's no meat coming forward, even though there's... Oh well, look, there's some slaves. So they are, they are coming. And this should help people because they're not happy being vegetarian. They want some meat. Oh, but they've got fish baskets. Why can't they just substitute fish and say, No, they want meat. And let's get that warehouse built. And there we go, we got some, some more slaves. And you can see they... Yep, there they go. Going back and forth. So now, if I go over here, let's have a look at this training post. Yeah, it's selling olive oil. Right, so that's good. Now, let's have a look at the job situation. Two unemployed women. You live there. Where do women work like working? I know, they like working on an olive farm. It's good for their skin. So I'll put one there. Like so. And hopefully that will deal with the two unemployed women. There's one free job in the prefecture. Why is there one free job in the prefecture? What happened to the other one? Did he retire? Is he, is he old? No, you decided to work on the wheat farm. Why is that? You're taking away a, a job that a woman could have. That's women's work. Anyway. Now we have got... Hey, we've gathered some wealth, so that one's done. So let's have a look at the free jobs. So there's a free job there. There's a free job there. Free job there. And there's a free job there. So if I build uh, a house there, then hopefully that will be in range of what's needed. Free talk. You must earn 5,000 denarii. Done that. Pretor, the barbarian village can no longer supply us with linen. Oh. The trade route with them has been closed. Bugger. If you pay 1,000 denarii, a new trade route to Greece will become available. All right. The amphora was a standard unit of measurement for volume, 26 litres, used by traders. There was a standard amphora to which all others could be compared. It was kept in the Temple of Jupiter on the Capitoline Hill in Rome. I'm guessing 26 litre and 4 will probably weigh about 30 kilograms when it's all filled up because the clay pot weighs something. Yeah, 30 kilos is a decent weight most people can carry. Right, so I've accepted that. I've got my new trade route. And let's have a look at these. Um, where's the trade shops? Yeah, that one's closed. So now, select a trade route. We're going to buy in... 
uh, we buy linen from Genoa for f five. Right, so that one's active. Do I have another shop somewhere? No, I don't. But anyway, you will gain a new colony in place of the barbarian village if you pay one thousand denarii. All right, let's pay that. Hey, look at that. You're no longer barbarians. You are now proud Roman citizens of, of Rome. Hey, guess what? Guess what? 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 Guess what? You're Romans now. Because I say so. Ah, oh, this building's closed as well. Um, well, let's not buy linen. What if we bought in wine? Let's buy in wine. There we go. I don't, I don't know. I don't, uh, yeah, we haven't got any wine coming in. Let's pick a tablet. You can use the rush construction option five times for free. Roman roads were a marvel of ancient engineering. They consisted of several different layers and were resistant to rain, floods, and freezing. At its height, the Roman road system spanned more than 85,000 kilometers and contained 372 intersections. Wow, well, the... <laughs> yeah, it wasn't until, what was it, the 18th century where we had roads which were comparable in quality to the Roman roads. Um, and even then it's debatable because it doesn't seem like we can build roads that resist the rain and freezing and snow and all that. Mind you, we do put salt on our roads, which the Romans didn't do. So the demands of our roads is a bit different. That said, the carts could um, put a bit of strain on the roads. I mean, that those those nasty um, wooden and then steel shod or iron shod uh, rows, yeah, they, there's, um, they're not easy to deal with. Anyway, I don't think I can build a road going from there to there, and I can't build stairs or anything. And they got a bit of buttressing there as well. Let's extend that road further. <laughs> Uh, like so. What what are they saying there? A darker building grabs your attention. It is left without workers. No one works at this building. The town needs more people. Well, there you go. There's more people. I have got no settlers, so I will need um, settlers before I can do any of this stuff. So, great. You got fourteen free jobs. Yeah. Um, How's the schooling situation coming along? Well, I don't see any children there. That's... that's not good. I thought I built another school somewhere. Alright, let's pick another tra um, thing. Um, you can use the rush cost. All families lose half of all their wealth. I bring terrible news, Pretor. Several of our trade caravans have been ambushed by barbarians. The traders owe an enormous sum of money to the buyers. All of the families in our city have lost half of their wealth. Well, that's uh, upsetting. You can use if you build five trade posts in your city, the needs of all your citizens will be satisfied. All right, this built another trade post then. Not that anyone who can work in it. Um, let's just build a trade post over here. Because this is going to be our new settlement when we get the settlers in. Oh, and I can rush that, can't I? Rush construction for free. There we go. One of your buildings is located too far from the house. A small portion of an uninhabited house collapses nearby with a startling noise. No one looks after this house, and it is a serious fire hazard. Such houses are darker than the others. If you build, you can so use them. A new trade route has been established with the settlement of Terracina. We can buy wine at four denarii and sell marble at fifty denarii. Nice. Although today Rome is usually recognized for its conquests and its military strength, trade fueled the economy of the empire. Roman traders traveled around the ancient world and reached destinations from Britannia and Egypt to India and even China via the Silk Road. 
Cool. You can use right. the rush control. So, where am I buying wine? There it is. No, you're not buying it from Rome anymore. You're going to buy it from Teresina. There we go. And then, when we get the settlers in, I'm going to build. Uh, well, look, we've got an iron mine, we've got a gold mine, we've got a marble quarry, so I need six men to work those uh, those those mines. So, one, two, three, and then four, five, six. There we go. And put in an altar there. So try and make this place a bit more attractive for those that may want to eventually live here. And let's do a wheat farm. So that employ half of the women. And then if I do a pig farm, that will employ the other half. There, like so. Oh, and then they'll need a man to work there, so um, let's do another house over here. There we go. And that can sell marble. Actually, if I have a prefecture. So, I need three more houses. One, two, and three. And then we'll build a marketplace in the middle. I'm sure the slaves are really happy with all the buildings I'm suddenly just building up here. There we go, there's a marketplace. And let's speed things along. Yep, yeah, all of that's going to be... What's that? SBQR, great. And this one is going to be selling marble. Where's marble? I can't sell marble because I don't have any marble yet. Although that's just opened up. So yeah, we got one man in there. No wife. None available. I have to go and conquer the barbarians to get some wives. And, oh look, our, our farm has just got rid of our road. Of course. So what we can you do now? Build an arch of triumph. Well, I've done that. You can use them. A new trade route with Genoa has been established. Genoa buys gold ore at 50 denarii. Nice. You can use the upgrade your forum to Done that. You can use the senators agreed to raise the purchase price. Very of nice. You can use the rush construction. So I've got four uses of the rush construction, so... Uh, rush that, rush that, rush that one, and then finally rush that. There we go. There's our. You can use the rush. Congratulations. And there you it have is. Won this scenario. Well, let's keep playing it for a bit because I want to see this start and get populated. So where's our school? There's a school. I'm sure I built another school. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I thought about building another school, but actually didn't get round to it. Let's have another school then. Can I build a, a school here? Build a school there? Yeah. And now we're doing for resources. Well, we got timber, we got clandestine, so that's all good. Not much, so I'm just going to right click on those without looking at it. And, oh yeah. Congratulations. So let's just keep this on going on for a bit longer, because I want to see this occupied first, as I'm having fun. I mean, that's the sign of a good game. It's like, you've won. You can keep playing if you want to. Yes, I want to. I'm having fun. No prefectures working. And we've got a bloke working in the marketplace. What? A job in the mines isn't good enough for you. We got iron ore, we got no marble. But at least we got gold, so in this one I can say start selling gold. I wanna know where the gold at. There's the gold, it's at there. I like that. It's like, hey we we need some some music to sort of signify like Rome and the glory of Rome and all of that. Oh I know, yeah, we'll we'll have um you know, some woodwind instruments and an electric guitar. Electric guitar? Yeah, that's totally Roman. It's like, oh yeah, the, the music sounds alright, we'll go with that. So, where can this road go to? Dunno. 
But roads are free, so let's just... How far can... What, go there and then... I don't know. I don't actually know where that road's supposed to go, tell me. What, is it supposed to go like that? And then... Alright, there's a little zigzag road. Not very Roman. Actually, out of curiosity, who's here in the chat? Who's got hold fast nations at war? Because I was playing that last night and um, just went in a couple of random matches, ended up playing as France as a lineman, and uh, I had a lot of fun with that. I always just thought, oh, who wants to play in the Napoleonic era game? And, you know, you, you spend like like a minute reloading your musket. And, no, it's, it's good fun because they understood the limitations of reloading and the inaccuracies and stuff, so. Usually what I do is just hide around the corner, fire one, sh fire one shot, hide around the corner, go to the bayonet, and then when they come round, give them the cold steel. And um, the interesting things get said on that. Like, for example, um, I was uh, playing a game, and the first thing I heard, apart from Vive la France, was Judge Floyd is a Nick Nug. <laughs> it's like, a <laughs> yeah, he sure is. He sure is. So yeah. Um you know what I could have done? I could actually save this game. Well let's speed it up. If I speed it up, will that result in like more population? Hey look, there's children. Good. And so if I go to my forum, 31 free jobs. What if I upgraded it? Now we've got some temples, that should make people happy. And let's do an offering. 20% chance for double production, all food production buildings. Another 20% chance, another 20% chance, 40% chance. You have double production in all food producing buildings. How's about that then? Uh-huh. Yep. And no one's going like, oh, this is a prosperous place. I think I'll come settle in Capua. I mean, maybe I should build another school over here. What were they saying? Some of your citizens are very poor and may turn criminal. Criminals do not work and will try to start fires. Well, you work your in the clay pits, will so you got to a catch job. Criminals before they do serious damage to the city. The, well, the, working in the clay pits is one paid job. What are you complaining about? Thanks to your care, I lack nothing. Yeah, he's fine. Four denarii is enough to last him four days. And you know he's got himself a wife. And what she she works in the wheat farm. Why well, that's double the income. But let's keep an eye on this uh, Magalia Felicita. A vacant a small house. Portion of but anyway, this house is no longer vacant, so that's good. What if I build an altar right next door? And then it can donate some of their ten denarii in the altar. A darker building grabs your attention. Oh no. It is left without workers and oh, has ceased no. to function. One is angry. If it's wild, there'll be more sausage. Yeah, everybody wants more sausages, but there's only two butcher shops. No, there's ten sausages in there. So. And you live in there. Well, you're just in range of the marketplace, so go and get some sausages, you lazy bastard. No, I don't want to. It's too far away. I don't think I'll bother. Right. Try to fulfil your current need. Off to work to chop down some trees. I said fulfil your current need. Fulfil it. Protesting about lack of sausages. Oh, if only there were sausages available. Uh, what, like in the marketplace where there's seven sausages? Oh, it's too far away. Honestly, there's no pleasing some people. Lately, there isn't enough bread. So, where do you live? You, you live there. Well, you're not in range of the marketplace. But isn't there like a... There's a bakery right there. You could get your bread. Get your bread from the bakery. Freshly baked bread. You don't have to go to the marketplace to get a stale loaf. Right, that's it. They're complaining too much. I'm going to save the game. 
as oh I don't get a choice to what I'm gonna save it so now I can go um, close and then congratulation main menu there we are because I was about to start burning it all down um, yeah so now if I go to end the string go away I said play into the stream. Your stream will stop immediately and you'll no longer be live. Well, that's what the big red button that says end does.